Whoa! It's the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on space ship Earth. Yeah! I uh it's practice before Owl's baseball game today. It's baseball! Little league game. But uh so I got some I got some time some time so i thought i would chime in on unfortunately i told you so dude i told you these people are trying to write a contract to suck your children and grandchildren into the meat grinder I mean, it's become quite obvious. And I also, I also warned you that the most dangerous people in, in, right now are conservatives, man. Conservatives were always, I, I, I guess, I guess there's conservatives and then there's Republicans. So I, I shouldn't conflate the two, right? Just like there's, there's liberals and then there's Democrats, right? You know, a liberal is not woke. Woke, loony, Democrat. Just so, so you're clear, dude. Um, yeah, I told you, man, these Republican guys are the, are the biggest dipshits around, man. The biggest two-faced, warmongering scumbags America has to offer, man. Because at least the loony woke left is exactly what they say they are. They're about burning the system down, ripping it apart, destroying it. And uh, I can at least respect their duplicitous honesty, right? I mean, they're, they're total hypocrites because they don't have the ability to self-reflect, but at least they're honest with their objectives. Well, the Republicans and the conservatives that choose to hitch themselves to that, to that bandwagon are fucking morons and not patriots and just warmongering toadies for APAC and the military industrial complex, man. I, look, I, when I saw this, this whole thing spark off in the desert, man, I told you, dude, if you co-sign on to the slaughtering of children, dude, on, on any slaughtering of children, dude, across the board, you're signing your own children and grandchildren and other people's children up to the very same fate, man. And so now you're starting to get it, dude. Now you're starting to see it uncloak itself. You know, this, I, I, the, the craziest is the scumbag Christians, man. The scumbag Christians carrying water for APAC. <laughs> it's mind blowing, dude. It's mind blowing. You know, I look, we can all see that that on a certain level this this weird anti it's see it's not a it's not an anti war movement unfortunately the free palestine movement's been fully infiltrated by the wokesters right and, and again is it's just anti war dude anti-war war uh, war on on any level to me is is psychotic dude because you know you can't be you can't say you're about free palestine and and forget about the kids in in the wheat fields of eastern europe I, that doesn't make any sense to me at all i mean those young men just being sent into the meat grinder. I mean, a lot of them are middle-aged too, dude. But I mean, 
and it's all being financed by the United States. I guess that's that's where this all goes, right? It's all it's all being financed by our complicity as a nation because our nation's been taken over by the military industrial complex. Eisenhower warned us about this. Eisenhower warned us about it. I mean, you can go watch his speech, his 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 speech as he left office about the uh military industrial complex and the media and the whole thing man so here we are dude here we are we are we are we are sitting where free speech has now been labeled anti-semitism dude right because if you don't if you don't support if you don't support war you're against the jewish people yeah, sorry, dude. My anti-war stance has got nothing to do with whether about Judaism or being a Muslim or being a Christian or and in fact it's it's all got to do with being a Christian is I'm anti-war, dude. And I suppose really is is no matter what, where you're coming from, what up, whatever, if you're any one of the Abrahamic religions, you should be anti-war, dude. You should be anti-war if you're a human being, man. But we're seeing it. This is the, this is, so let, let's get this straight. It's tax day. Then five days later, they pass that crazy bill giving 60 million dollars to the ukrainian war oh no that's a misnomer dude 40 million of it goes to military industrial complex to restock their stockpile of weapons okay fine and then what a big chunk of money to to uh israel so they can keep blowing up people and rubbleizing rubbleizing the gaza strip and and backing settlers going in and bashing the heads in of 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 Palestinians on the West Bank and blah 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 and then a bunch of money for Taiwan because you know we got to have we got to we got to fire up some sort of hustle with China it's a scam man and then at the same time tied into it is the anti TikTok bill how about how about just how about just banning all, all these pieces of technology to anyone under the age of 18, dude? How about that? How about we just, how about you make a law just like it's like alcohol, right? This, 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 these pieces of devices fire up the same parts of your brain as, as snorting cocaine and all that kind of stuff. How about, how about if they really worried about TikTok? They just ban these things to all people under the age of 18 all this technology the computers the laptops all of it fucking televisions all the bullshit no it's banned tiktok dude okay why why because because the system's so pathetic that the young generation rather get their news from tiktok influencers than old assholes on cable television stations are obviously bought and paid for publications being financed by the pharmaceutical industry i mean the level of of corruption and bullshit going on in the united states of america is so epic and again i'm not trying to save the united states of america as far as i'm concerned the united states of america has got a fork in the side of it and it's done it's just a sinking boat dude oh, dude you're not no i'm trying to i'm trying i'm a believer in in the constitution I don't know what that has to do with the United States of America anymore. I don't know what the Bill of Rights has to do with the United States of America anymore. There's like two separate like realities. The Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. They got nothing to do with this military industrial complex that is the corporation of the United States of America, man. That's two totally different like realities, dude. Because the corporation that is the United States of America is just a warmongering, pharmaceutical, big agra, feudal state, dude. And, and, and everyone's waiting around hoping some fucking dipshit in a tie is going to save you, dude. Dude, 
You, if you think Donald Trump is going to save you, you're a fucking moron, dude. Hey, dude, no, dude, trust me. The white hats, the indictments, dude, Klaus Schwab's dead. Uh, dude, there's no help coming. You better save your yourself by not signing up for the contract. Yeah, I know, dude. It's super gnarly. It's super, you know, I had something happen the other day, right? Again, is is it's super gnarly, right? You know, we've stuck to our guns up here at Talons Out Ranch, right? We've gotten off the grid. We've invested in the solar. We got our well. We're trying to grow our own food. We got the livestock. We're homeschooling our, our child. And sometimes, man, it's like, how are we going to make this all happen, dude? How are we going to make it all happen? You know, because, you know, the inter interest bearing currency and the whole thing. But then you, you got to remember there is that that's all fake, right? The money's all fake. That's the hustle of the military industrial complex in 1913 that took over the deal. Oh, my God, fight the IRS and fight, 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 fight. Right. When, when if you really, really look at it, there is only one truth that that God loves you and that Jesus Christ is your personal savior. Right. So I, I, I sit here and I know that it's all going to be okay, but I forget about it. So, so again, once again, we got, you know, finance has got down to, got pretty low. And then dude, like in a 24 hour period, it all changed again, man. It all changed again because the one thing I know is God's not going to let us down right? It's all, it's, it's just about not signing the contract, dude. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, man. It's the golden rule type of stuff is, is you're not going to get me to say that dropping bombs on anybody is a good idea, dude. You're not going to tell me that that dude's sneaking around with masks on their face cutting people's throats in the middle of the night's any good either dude you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna convince me that any of this is okay this is madness down here this is utter utter insanity dude but but realizing that truth means that i can i can stand up to it in my own personal reality right you're not going to get me to co-sign what is going on in the Gaza Strip, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Like, you don't get to just go slaughtering women and children with aerial bombardments and rubbleized cities and do all that creepy stuff and be like, tell me that it's got anything to do with America. But you don't get to tell me that they, I don't have an opinion. Like, how about all these asshole conservative people that are like, I don't care. It's not nothing to do with me. You know what? That kind of meant thinking is, is why when they come and start lopping off your children's heads, it, everyone can be like, it's got nothing to do with me. These people are assholes. The, the pendulum's going to swing back around, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you, dude. This is a setup so that you have to face the reality. Look, man, how does, how does, how does one group of people have to face their own their own darkness, right? Right? How how do you, like so so if you live in a in a reality something super bad happens to you and like the big the big genocide happens, right? And then what? 70 years later, what are we 70 years later? You're participating in a color of law version of it. Okay, it's you get all semantical about it, dude. It's not really genocide technically this and well it is genocide technically that. Okay, it's all color it's color of law genocide. I don't know, man. When you when when 15,000 kids are blown apart or whatever the number is, 5,050. Let's let's just say it's 50 kids. 50 kids are blown apart because of a coordinated bombing campaign of of their neighborhoods. Fuck, I don't care what you call it. It's fucked up, man. 
And so APAC runs this country, right? So the people that are perpetrating that had it happen to them, but they don't have the ability to see the cycle, right? Because it's all propaganda. It's okay. It's okay. They're the enemy. Yeah, well, you were the enemy once too, dude. Everybody gets to be somebody else's enemy till you get to be the one that forgives your enemy, right? Like, that's the thing, right? Until you learn the forgiveness, you'll be somebody else's enemy till you inflict what your enemy inflicted on you till you realize like, oh, bro, it wasn't an isolated ideological idea. It was a hustle and a scam perpetrated on your mind because you forgot the truth. You forgot the truth. You forgot what God, God was trying to instill into you. God didn't bring you down here to get all righteous and start lopping people's heads off or dismembering kids or sneaking around in, in the bushes and, and shooting people. It's not what God brought you down here. God brought you down here to forgive and be of service, right? So when I see these people, yeah, shut down the universities, go for it. But when you got, and again, is whether I'm anti-war. As long as they're saying anti-war, I'm all for it, dude. I don't care if these people four years ago were were the same people that I was like, they're, they're crazy because they're trying to burn down the cities. I don't know. It's a different group. It's four years later, right? So I don't know. But when you have that asshole Mike Johnson, dude, what a fucking pile of shit that guy is, man. Excuse my language on this video, but that Mike Johnson guy fucking can suck my dick dude and anybody who wants to sit I, like trust me dude i can't be part of any of those people dude oh dude but you gotta vote for them fuck i'll i'll vote for for fucking nobody dude if the, these are the assholes i gotta choose from that dude oh we're gonna Dude, everyone, everyone thought that was going to be better, dude. And then you got these guys. Well, we can't stand up to them because it'll turn over the house to Hakeem Jeffries and all that. So what? What's the difference between Hakeem Jeffries and, and, and Mike Johnson? Dude, they're the same fucking asshole working for APAC to buy bombs from our military industrial complex to drop on children, dude. There's one party. It's the military industrial complex party. And I go, fine, dude. Fine. Great. But let's stop pretending, dude. Like I've always said, man. Maybe that's all that's going on is, is they've stopped pretending, dude. I don't know, man. You can't have my kid, though. I'm not giving you my kid, whoever they are. Watching this kid just whacking balls. Dang, dude, he can, he's a good hitter. Dude, he's consistent, man. I don't know, dude. I'm just ranting, dude. I just, I like I said at the beginning of this, man, the woke left scumbags with their woke weirdness, they fucking suck, dude. But at the end of the day, dude, they're just fringe elements, man. Homeschool your kid, grow your own food, move out of the cities. They disappear like immediately. The problem is, is these, these, is that the conservatives believe that the Republican Party is the answer, dude. When the Republican Party is, is run by fucking clowns, dude. Obvious limp dick fucking clowns, man. Mike Johnson, Donald Trump, Ronald McDaniels, fucking Mitch McConnell's. I mean, it's fucking pathetic. So yeah, at the end of the day, the United States of America, the corporation of the United States of America and the United States Constitution and Bill of the Right are two separate realities in my thing. I'm, I'm, I'm in my, my own my own slice of the non-corporate entity of America. Eh, but you got to flag your lot and do this and then fuck. I don't care about any of that shit, dude. None of it matters, man. 
all that matters is I'm not, I'm not co-signing it, dude. I'm not saying it's okay, dude. It's wrong, dude. You're not going to get me to say dropping bombs on anybody's the right answer, dude. It's been, it's been proven over time to be a bad idea. And if you think I'm un-America because I don't support atomic bombs, I I don't even believe in atomic bombs. I said it, it sounded stupid, dude. I, if I don't believe in the total destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, dude, I'm un-American. Now, fuck that, dude. Then I'm, I'm not, then I'm not part of corporate America, dude. That's the thing, dude. You don't, most people don't know what to be an American is anymore, dude. It's definitely not sending our sons and daughters in uniforms over to go fight wars for the military industrial pharmaceutical corporation, dude. Heck no, dude. I'm all about our brothers and sisters in uniform defending our home, our land from, from the ridiculous nature of the people. But they're here, dude. <laughs> they're in... They're here, dude. No one's going to pick up their second amendment. No one's going to do anything about it, dude. It's it's pretty pathetic, dude. And we're seeing it right now, dude. We're seeing it right now that they've that the real the real conservatives, the real conservatives are calling this all out, dude. And the real liberals are calling this all out, dude. Like I just hope you understand is is the real conservatives and the real conser real liberals aren't in the Democratic Party or the Republican Party anymore. We're, we've all moved away from it, dude. Yeah, we got we got snookered like four four years ago, eight years ago into being like on team sports and wearing jerseys for yeah, rah rah rah. Now we can see it, dude. Doesn't matter, dude. They're all just hustles for the uniparty of the military industrial complex. But this is old knowledge. Nothing new here, dude. Like I I'm not handing out anything new on a thursday afternoon i'm just ranting and raving wet, waiting for my kids baseball game to start go dodgers dude <laughs> anyway dude go go plant some food go homeschool your kids do your very best don't buy into the hustle don't buy into the fear man it's all a scam dude it is all a scam just don't sign your kids up for it, man. Take the phones out of their hands. Give them books, dude. Who cares if they ban, don't ban TikTok. <laughs> okay, TikTok's illegal. So is protesting at a college campus because they don't... Is your anti-Semite. Do it, whatever that means anymore. Okay, they were screaming we are Nazis three weeks ago too dude so you know what i mean is 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 it doesn't matter dude <laughs> let them call you names dude the more names they call you probably the more over the target you are dude may the trolls strike this video down dude susan susan uh she's not there anymore but you know what i'm saying you get you get what i'm you get what i'm putting down dude do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Anyway, man, links down below. Support the channel. Don't support the channel. Use the name tags because uh, at this time of conflict and chaos, the name tags are probably more important than they've ever been, dude. Because when you know someone's name, you can't just label them as, as, as Jew, Muslim, Christian. You can't label them like that. It's, it's, it's Tim and, 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 and. Michael and and Abigail and and Muhammad and 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 I don't know names are just falling falling short right now but you get what I'm saying dude we're not republicans we're not democrats we're human beings man all trying to find our way home with god dude i mean that's the thing right we're all trying to get home to god <sighs> And if you stick around here and you fight for the corporation, man, I don't know if you get home to God. I don't know if you get home to God thinking that Jesus would fly, fly a fighter plane, dude. Jesus would not be dropping bombs on children, dude, or middle-aged men in the wheat fields or anybody. Like, like Jesus would be standing on the runway at the airport in front of the jet engine, not letting it take off, dude. This is madness, man. Dig, it's crypto! <laughs>
thousand X this baby. Uh, all right, man. I ranted later.